Hey, this is Susan Velez from SusanVelez.com and welcome to my YouTube channel where I make the techie side of blogging easy. Now, if you haven't subscribed to this YouTube channel, I highly recommend that you do because what I like to do is every Wednesday, I create some type of tip, tutorial, advice video that's going to empower you to start your own WordPress blog. So in today's tutorial, what I wanted to do was actually, we are going to set up and set up this anti-spam key because what you're going to start realizing as your blog starts to grow, you're going to get bombarded with a ton of spam. Now, this plugin doesn't actually catch all the spam comments, but it is a good way to actually keep some of the spam comments off your blog. Now, let me show you the stats on mine. So here I am inside of my live um, SusanVelez.com blog. And as you can see, these are the details or the statistics for the... Uh, spam that's been cleaned up on my blog for the past six months. Now, you can see that it's blocked 1,438 spam comments, and then all time it's uh, 1,789 with an accuracy of 97.3%. Now, of course, it's not going to catch all 100%. If you know of a better plugin that does catch all spam, then that'd be awesome. You can leave it um, a comment down below and let me know. But this is what I'm using for my live blog. And we are actually going to set it up on this blog right here, which is just a demo site. But I want to run you through the process of how you would set this up. So that way you can go ahead and start blocking the spam on your blog if you haven't taken the time to do this. So we're going to run through the process of how to do this. So bear with me. Might make a couple of mistakes here and there but because I've never done this live on video in front of you. But... We're going to get this done. So first thing we want to do is we are going to go to the um, Akismet or however you say that web page and I'll have the link in the in the description below. So um, I'll also have a link to everything that I use for my blog. So if you do sign up, I would appreciate the support if you use if you sign up through my affiliate links. All right. So now what we want to do is we are actually going to create a an actual um, account if you haven't created an account. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to, um, oh wait, I hit the wrong button. We're going to log out of here. We don't want to use that. Um, we are actually going to be using a different account. So I'm going to be making signing up with a fake account just for the purpose of this video. I've already got an account on my site, so I don't really want to use that account. So we're just I'm just going to walk you through the whole process of how to do this from scratch. And I thought the easiest way to do this was just to go ahead and create a whole brand new account. Even though it's going to be a fake account, it really doesn't matter. Now, right here, um, it's going to tell you simple, affordable pricing. Now, we don't want to pay anything um, because we're really not, there's no reason to pay for it. You can decide to use the plus if you want, but this is the way that I've set mine up and I get the basic. And then right here, when you hit um, get basic, it's going to try to tell you that you need to pay something right here. It's going to ask you for your payment method. And then you're going to see that it's going to say 36 a year. Well, we don't want to pay anything. Um, we just want to use this for free. So you can see that what we did was we slid this little thing right here. And you'll notice that right now um, it is set on the 36 when you first when you first uh, come to this page. You're going to notice that it is set right here. And you got a little of a smiley face if you move it more. The smiley face gets bigger because obviously that more money they're going to make. But we're going to turn it right here. And then you'll notice that the smiley face is completely gone. But now we are allowed to go ahead and continue without entering our credit card information of any type. So once we get this done, it's going to say processing one min one moment, please. So we're going to go ahead and wait for that. And um, apparently it's already tied to my, my personal site. So I'm going to remove this site because I no longer use these. And we're going to say yes, remove from my account. And then we're going to delete this site as well, too. And we're going to say, yes, remove from my account. So basically, um, apparently it's already tied to my account because I'm inside of my account, I guess. But anyway, what you would do is you would go ahead and sign up, create your account. I've showed you how to do that without having to pay anything. Once you actually log in, it's going to give you this API key right here. You can see that it is uh, says Akasmit 
or however you say that, API key. So what we're going to do is we're going to come back over here and we're going to go activate. And then it's going to ask us for our, let's go to settings. It's going to ask us right here, it says, um, enter the API key. So I've got this actually blurred out, but I'm going to go ahead and just enter it here. But you're not going to be able to see this because I've blurred it out. But if you have any questions, you can click on this, what is an API key, and it'll give you all the details that you need to know. But like I said, once you create your account, it will give you your own API key. Then you can just go ahead and hit connect with API key. And then it's going to connect it to your account. And then it's going to start blocking spam and you don't have to do anything else. Now you're being protected. This plugin is actually blocking spam for you. And you can see that right now it's it doesn't have any type of statistics to show you because there's it's just started blocking spam. But this is on my local host, so it's not going to do any good. But I basically just wanted to run you through the process and show you how to, to set this up. Now, strictness, you could... Um, set this any way you want and it says there you have two options you can silently discard the worst and most pervasive spam so i never see it or you can always put spam in the spam folder for review i've left mine on as always put spam in the spam folder for review because what i've noticed is that some of the spam some of the comments in my spam folder are not spam but i'm not sure why they're going to the spam folder so i do take the time to actually go to the spam folder really quick. Like I said, right now I don't get a ton of spam. This may change later on as my blog continues to grow and my traffic continues to grow. I may end up having to switch this, but right now I do take the time to see if I have any legitimate comments in my spam folder, and then I will move them to my pending. And then you can tell that it is active because it'll say right here, it says um, basic free plan, and then um, it says active. If you wanted to upgrade, you could, but um, to tell you the truth, I haven't upgraded on my blog. Um, I'm going to continue using the free, the free one as long as I can. And anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you do use the ACA Submit plugin to protect your blog from spam. And again, I'm probably butchering that word, but anyway, if you enjoyed this video and it helped you set up your anti-spam plugin, please be sure to leave a comment below if you have any questions. Give it a thumbs up and don't forget to stop by and visit my blog at susanvelez.com and I'll talk to you later. Have a great one.